Silay City Gateway to the Cultural Heritage of Negros Occidental The early settlement of present-day Silay called Karubkub or Ribcage in Hiligaynon was found near the mouth of a creek. There were other names, Kalubkub, Karakol, and Karako meaning snail or a spiral in Spanish. Karubkub was granted as an encomienda to Cristobal Nunez Paroja, one of the 17 soldiers of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. Popular belief identified Karubkub settlement near the present-day Ginhalaran, one of the large and thickly populated barangays of modern-day Silay. According to popular tales, the name Silay came from the tree that grew out of the mound where the lovely princess Kansilay was buried. Kansilay died battling bandits that pillaged and killed most of the villagers. The people named the tree Kansilay as a tribute to the princess who sacrificed her life. And as it grew abundantly in the settlement, it became known as Kansilay. In 1760, Silay was recognized as a town or pueblo and mentioned in the oldest available document around 1772. In 1776, the Bishop of Cebu recognized Silay as a parish. In 1780 to 1781, Don Alejo Severino of Haro Iloilo was named the first gobernador Silio of Silay. He built the first Catholic church in Silay dedicated to San Diego with Padre Alejo Ignacio de Molinas as its first priest. In 1841, the parish priest Eusebio Luxin started the construction of a sturdier building. It was in 1925 when Sugar Baron Don Jose Ledesma made a donation to start anew the church building and commissioned an Italian architect Lucio Bernasconi to design. In 1994, it was declared a pro-cathedral, symbolizing the deep Catholic faith and piety of the Silainons. In 1846, the first Horno Economico, a sugar mill, was built by Frenchman Ives Leopold Germain Gaston, who became a permanent resident of Silay. Gaston, who settled in Ginhalaran, introduced the modernized cultivation of sugarcane. In the same decade, several families from Iloilo province moved to Silay to start ventures in agriculture and commerce. By 1896, Silay had become a leading sugar-producing pueblo. In 1920, the Sugar Central Hawaiian Philippine Company was built in Silay. Molino de Sangre, or primitive sugar mills that used carabaos, gave way to the use of steam engine. Silay was a key player in two important wars in the history of the island. During the turn of the 19th century, the Negros Revolution, or popularly known as Cinco de Noviembre, showed the bravery and diplomatic prowess of its leaders that freed Negros from Spanish rule. It was in Silay City Public Plaza that the first Philippine flag was raised in Negros, leading to the establishment of the Cantonal Republic of Negros. In World War II, Silay was at the forefront of the battle. The hills of Barangay Patag witnessed the final and decisive battle in the Pacific that sealed the Allied victory in the Eastern Front. The town of Silay was at the center stage during the sugar industry boom in the Philippines. 
and became the cultural and intellectual hub of the province. Dubbed as the Paris of Negros, boasting to have the most ancestral houses declared as a national treasure by the National Historical Institute. Silay has a total of 29 well-preserved ancestral houses. A few have been converted into a museum, all evoking the lifestyle of Silay's golden era. The Senator Jose C. Loxin Cultural and Civic Center, inaugurated in 1957, was the first ever cultural center in the Philippines. In June 12 of the same year, Silay became a chartered city during the administration of Mayor Romulo Goles. In the mountains of Silay, various breathtaking natural wonders abound. In Barangay Patag, a central part of the Northern Negros Natural Park boasts of its Tinagong Dagat, Kawakawa or the Enchanted Lake, Sulfatara, Pulang Tubig Falls, Dumalabdab Falls, Pandong Bato. As growth center, Silay was gateway to the island in the past. The old seaport in Mambokog, now known as Barangay Mambula, was where sugar from Negros was sent to Panay. The 1.7 kilometers wharf, known to locals as Pantalan, was the longest and among the busiest in Asia before it was bombed in World War II. Today, the Bacolod Silay Airport in Barangay Bagtik is the island's main gateway. Silay is home to authentic Negrense delicacies and many culinary delights. Various homemade food products known locally as Kalanunon are popular to Silaynons as morning and afternoon snacks. It is today the center of the slow food movement in Negros. With its world-class cultural performers, the city of Silay remains to be the island's center of heritage that echoes its vibrant past. Magic Land, the first outdoor theme park in the Visayas, located in Barangay Ginhalaran, in the heart of Silay, offers the Grenses world-class entertainment that can rival the best in Asia. The park captures the stories of Negros, history, culture, folklore, and myths in its exciting rides and other attractions. Silay City, the gateway to the cultural heritage of Negros Occidental.